Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the important components of the bridge. That what are the important components and how these components do their functions. So the first thing that should be considered in the construction of the bridge is the soil investigation. So if I draw the first component of the bridge, it will be the pile. The first, the first and important component of the bridge is the pile, which is most expensive part of the bridge. So here I can draw my piles. We construct these piles and they are mostly in circular shape. These are the piles and these piles are below the soil. This is the soil. This all is the soil and we build these piles inside the soil. So the pile type, these are the piles and this is the first part in the construction of the bridge. And this pile depend upon the soil mid type. Either the soil is loose soil or soil is hard soil. So the type of the pile may be the in bearing pile. In bearing pile is the first one and the second one may be the friction pile where in case of the friction pile the resistance to the load is provided by the friction of the pile while in case of the in bearing pile all the load is taken by the end of the pile so these are the two types of the pile the other type of the pile is the combination of the in bearing and friction pile so after the construction of the pile the next step is the pile cape. The next component of the bridge is the pile cape. So after the construction of the pile, we do the pile cape and pile cape is mostly in rectangular and square depend on the bridge design. So this is the second component. Now this one, which is made up full of reinforced concrete, this component of the bridge is known as the pile cape. And it takes the load from the above structure and transfer into the piles. And pile takes the load either by in bearing or by the friction. So the third component, if I show the third component of the pile of the bridge, so the third component is known as the pier and pier is drawn, is constructed here at the mid of the bridge and this pier may be of square, circular or the rectangular depend on the designer that how they design this type of the member. So the third component is known as the pier which takes the load from a bow structure and this is the load in this member and it transfer it to the pile cape and pile cape transfer the load into the pile and from pile either they take by in bearing or either they take by the hair by friction. So this is the way how they transfer the load. Now the next component of the in the construction of the bridge is the transom and transom if I draw it by another color so the transom is shown like here like in this way so it is also one of the important component in the construction of the bridge so it is known as the transom and transom helps to take the load from the girder and transfer it to the pier. Again the pier transfer the load in the same way to the pile cape and then to the pile and so on. So after the construction of the transom we came to the fifth part which is known as the concrete pad. So if I show a concrete pad by another color so the concrete pad are mostly small in shape here and we made this small pad which is made of the concrete only so this is known as the 
concrete bed. And this is used to take the load from the bearing bed. So the sixth part in the construction of the bridge will be the bearing bed. So the bearing bed is placed on the top of the concrete bed. This is known as the bearing bed. In bearing bed has the a lot of stiffness and elasticity so the load it can absorb the shocking from the uh, load coming on this bearing pad and transfer this to the concrete pad and then to the transom and then to the pier and then to the pile cap and pile and so on. So this is the way how the load transfer occurring in the construction of the bridge. The seventh part in the construction of the bridge is the girder which we mostly call is the flexure member of the bridge where if I show it here so the bridge the girder is drawn like in this way so this is the, one of the important part of the bridge this is known as the girder which takes the load from the vehicle coming on this bridge so here is also the girder in the another direction so on top of this we have the vehicle load so the second part is the girder so after the girder we construct the another thing which is known as the deck slab so this is the uh, reinforced concrete slab and put on the top of the girder because we have some gap here and this is mostly filled with here now if we see here we put the slab on the top of this girder small thickness of the slab of reinforced concrete slab so now this is known as the deck slab which is also a flexure member here so the last part of the bridge i can write here is the road pavement So, on the top of the bridge, we place the bitumen asphalt here. So, this is known as the road pavement. And the traffic moves either in, in this direction, either in this direction. So, these are the traffic or vehicle traffic here. So, on top of the road pavement, the vehicles are moving and the road permit transfer the load to the deck slab and deck slab to the girders and then girder to the this uh, through the small bearing pads to the concrete pads and concrete pads to the transom and transom to the pier and then to the pile cap and then to the pile and then pile take the load either by the friction or by the end bearing so this is the way how the load is being transferred uh, through the different parts of the bridge hope you guys understand these different parts in the construction of the bridge and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video